Rule 6 Attack Surface Reduction Block executable files from running unless they meet a prevalence, age or trusted list criterion. The purpose of this rule is to block execution of any executables until and unless they are trusted by Microsoft. So Microsoft maintains a list, practically speaking, and if your installation file or if the software or application does not exist in that particular list, it will not be allowed to run. Now, this is the rule which causes a lot of noise. So be very specific in implementing this rule either in WARN or block mode. The technique which has been targeted is user execution and the mitigation ID is 1040. If you want to know more about this particular technique, I will add this link in the description section. From deployment method standpoint, Microsoft Intune, Group Policy, PowerShell and Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager, all four of them can be used to deploy this rule. From notification standpoint, EDR notification is not generated, user notification is generated for this rule. Now for this rule to work, cloud protection must be enabled. Practically speaking, you should keep cloud protection enabled for all the rules, but I'm highlighting it here because this is something which has been mentioned very specifically for now in the official documentation. Now to query events for this particular rule, the filter that you have to use is ASR untrusted, executable, audited, and blocked. And again, the table that you have to query is device events.